Do you use Photoshop or what do you use? <laughs> More than 80 years ago, right here in this garage, there was a moment that gave rise to Silicon Valley. It's where Bill Hewlett and Dave Packard started HP. Moments like these are at the heart of innovation and inspiration, and we're on a mission to capture them. Welcome to the garage. Thank you. I know how meaningful India is to you. Take me back to the young Shantanu. Well, I grew up in this city called Hyderabad, and uh, it was an amazing uh, childhood. You know, I think my parents always encouraged the sense of curiosity. And so, you know, growing up, uh, participating in debates, and I was the editor of the school magazine. So, and my first job uh, was actually working for the Indian Express. But there was also a sort of uh, following in your uh, footsteps of the family. And my brother was an engineer, uh, went to IIT. My father was an engineer. And so, you know, the idea was that, you know, it, Engineering was also considered a noble profession, so my parents wanted me to pursue engineering. I know your love for cricket. So what, what, did you, what position did you love playing? Was it bowler, batter, all-rounder? I know it. Unbelievably passionate about cricket. I'll get up at 2 in the morning to watch, to watch uh, cricket. But actually, growing up, I played more tennis hmm. than I did cricket. In school, I was uh, opening bat wicketkeeper for my house. But I wasn't, I, you know, again. Why are you being modest again? It's a religion in India more than any religion <laughs> is a religion in India, right? But yeah. it's this amazing thing. I mean, we're in this garage, and you could play cricket in this garage. When we walked in the garage here, right, what, is, what does it mean to you and kind of what was your thoughts when you are walking in? It's beautiful. I have a piece of history. I did electronics and communication engineering when I grew up. And so capacitors and inductors <laughs> and oscillators, you know, that was my exposure to computers. At times, you don't realize how lucky you are that people you studied growing up 40 years ago in India, that you're in the place where it all began. I know you all have been working on AI for a very long time. It's not new to you. So what are you excited about moving forward? I think the real buzz right now is about generative AI. And the way I like to describe it is we all have this idea, but we're all terrified of the blank screen or the you know, blank page. And what generative AI really allows you to do is that prototyping, that ideation. Just describe what's in your head. And if the computer can use that text prompt to get you started, oh my God, what an incredible on-ramp that is. But generative AI has been all about creating these models yeah. that allow you to take you know, a blank page and create something magical. You know, when I think of AI is good, AI is bad, what's the first thing that pops in your mind? AI is good. Uh, we finally have the opportunity on a mobile device to have a personalized tutor for billions of people. We finally have the opportunity to say, I can deliver personalized healthcare for billions of people. We finally have the ability to say, if, like in India, with the UPI scheme, financial inclusion by you know, removing the barriers to commerce can be done. Now, those are all the goods. Yeah. Are there some unintended consequences that we need to be careful about? Yes. But this notion that we're going to do a moratorium while we figure that out is just ludicrous to me. And you know, I, I feel like, uh, companies like Adobe, we recognize the role that we play, uh, and we're going to hold ourselves way more responsible in this emerging space. And so AI is good. The moment of truth, rapid fire, one word. The future of AI is? Impact. Best professional advice you've ever received? Take initiative, reinvent yourself. What was the dish that your mom made when you were growing up that you loved? Well, uh, you know, I grew up in an interesting family. My father's Tamilian and my mother's, uh, you know, Maharashtrian. So if I were to give a favorite dish, I'd probably say something like Puri and Shrikhand. Oh, now you're talking my language! Exactly, you you, you exactly. knew that! <laughs> what is the first film you saw in a movie theater? Sound of Music. What is your favorite Hindi film that you have? Sholi. You didn't even see people, you didn't even hesitate. Who is your favorite cricket player? Sachin Tendulkar. He's a legend. He's a legend. Favorite picture that's ever been Adobe Photoshopped? You know, we do work with the Center for Exploited Children uh, to actually imagine what kids would look like who were lost. 
a few years later. And the number of kids that we have found through that effort, you know, it just, you cannot be more uh, pleased with how people are using our technology to find missing children. That's a really very powerful. Um, that doesn't come top of mind when I think of Photoshop. Now it will for me. You are one of the long lasting CEOs leading an iconic tech company. Do you ever take time to just reflect of how far you've come? It's really interesting that we're having this conversation here in the garage, because when you think about Adobe and you think about John Warnock and Chuck Geschke, and you say, you know, in the pantheon of uh, people who've innovated in the Valley, uh, certainly, you know, uh, Hewlett and Packard are pioneers of that. But John and Chuck were very much part of that. And so, you know, for me, the honor of being part of a company uh, that actually has always been about innovation and changing the world, um, I think uh, is the reason that you get up early in the morning because you're driving innovation and you're making an impact. You do a great job when you love what you do and you've got to keep reinventing yourself. And I've had the incredible luxury at Adobe of, you know, I constantly reinventing myself. Shantanu, I want to thank you for sharing your story that maybe most people don't know. The way that you continue to innovate at Adobe is just an inspiration. So thank you so much for coming in. 